Captain James McHugh, the All-Ireland football final, obviously a great occasion for Donegal football, but a great occasion for the McHugh family as well. Oh, yeah, Michael, it's a great occasion for the family and for the parish. There's two members of the team uh, playing in the final, and uh, we're very hopeful that uh, hopefully it'll work out as well. For a player like yourself in particular, this is surely an occasion that you will relish because you've been on that Donegal team for well, several years now, back to the 83 team, so I'm sure you're looking forward to this match. Yeah, it's something that uh, it looked bad at a lot of stages that we would never get to a final, but this team kept plugging away. We're around a long time, as you say, and uh, I think it's just reward for the players that have put a lot of work into it. I know there's a lot of players that never get to finals and that there, but uh, this team put in a lot of work. We sat down at the start of the year this year and we said we were going to give it one hell of a go this year, and so far things have worked out, and we're just not happy to be in the final. We're hopeful that we can go the whole way. As Donegal now know, having gone to the last round of the championship, there is a fierce commitment that has to be made there of your personal time, of time off from work, uh, of all of the aspects of preparing for a big championship. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something that it's important that um, everybody, most of the lads are working on jobs that they're able to get time off and we're lucky enough that we have that. But it's something that Donegal people, we never thought we'd be training until when the evenings are getting short again. It's a great thing. It's something that you, we, we dreamed about before and now it's happened. You know? James, looking at the match itself, it's a great occasion for Johnny Gall, but the question is, can you win it? I suspect up against us, against the favourites, really. Well, Dublin will definitely be going into this match as favourites, and I suppose rightly so. I mean, we won the semi-final, but there's, no, there's nobody in the county that's happy with our performance. We kicked something like 16, 17 wides. We definitely have to improve in that area. Looking at the criticism that's often made of the forward division, that of course yourself and Martin are part of, the short passing game, can be very attractive but often is very ineffectual. Well a lot of people will tell you that the short passing game is not really the most effective game. But I mean it's what we have what this team has brought along. I mean we had the short passing game in 1990. We had it every year so far. I and mean, I think at this stage it's a bit late to try and change our tactics. Well Martin on that particular note that's a question that a lot of people are asking. Will Johnny Gold persist with the short passing game for the final? Well, I think it, it's, you have to take every match as it comes. The Dublin match is going to be different to the other matches. Probably the best performance we give this year of the short passing game is the second half against Derry. And there's something we said at half time, we're going to have to change our tactics because the long ball wasn't working. Hopefully against Dublin in the final we'll be play, using the long ball and the short ball, whatever, whatever hopefully works for us, you know. But I think it's important that uh, teams are able to vary the situation. Martin, it would be a most unusual thing if and Ulster County took the All-Ireland for a second year running. You could be the second big D to do that. And obviously you carry the hopes of the whole uh, province up here, I'd imagine. Yeah, we know the minute whatever team leaves Ulster, the whole province is always behind them. And we were all behind down last year. And there's a great occasion to be up at the match last year. And this year is no different. They're all going to be behind the Donegal Seniors and the Armagh Miners. And it's a great occasion for Ulster football. They've actually won the league already. It's come to Ulster. So Ulster football is booming at the minute. And we're hopefully, hopefully we, can, we won't let them down either.